sea trout are found in deep water, but most of them live along the shores in relatively shallow water where there's plenty of prey. The streamers used for this kind of fishing work all over the world and can be adapted to local conditions. Here, Morton ties some of his streamers to imitate sculpin, which are present in grey and brown colours. Sculpin, a small fish, three to five centimetres long, that live in the vegetation in shallow water. In the same habitat, we also find stickleback, which often occur in large schools. One more very important prey for the sea trout is the sand eel. They're mostly present in deep water, but often occur in shallow water close to the shore. Morton shows different ways of retrieving a streamer. These techniques are not only useful when chasing sea trout, but for all kinds of streamer fishing anywhere. The retrieve is closely related to the type of fly and the prey it imitates. First, we take a look at different ways of retrieving a flat-winged tube fly, in this case an imitation of a sand eel, which often swim fast, but also make abrupt stops and turns. To animate the fly as much as possible, Morton places the rod in his armpit and uses both hands to retrieve the fly. Sand eel often swim exactly like this and the retrieve is not too fast. Sea trout are fast swimmers and catch this fly easily. Use the hand over hand retrieve most of the time, but once in a while change tactics and vary the retrieve with stops. Here Morton demonstrates the most common retrieve, using only his line hand, stripping the fly back in short pulls without stops. He's using a simple imitation of a small fish, which is very effective in clear water like this. The fly has an enticing action in the water. This is one of Morton's favorite flies, It's an imitation of a sculpin, and they often move in short, erratic jumps. Morton imitates this by retrieving in short, fast strips. This is the same fly, but with a different retrieve, which gives the fly a more varied action. Morton retrieves the fly with two short strips and then a pause, two short strips, and then a pause. This is very effective, especially if you felt fish that didn't take the fly properly. Notice the erratic action of the fly and how it cuts to the side. This is a result of both the way it's retrieved and the way the fly is tied. A combination of fishing technique and fly tying gives the fly this action in the water, and the result is obvious. This is another retrieve dictated by the fly Morton is fishing. The fly features a weighted head, and Morton's retrieving in long pulls with distinct pauses between. By doing this, the fly moves in this jig-like way, almost jumping up and down. Sometimes this is very effective, 